Hey, how's it going? It's Canuck here. So, I thought I would just give you a little update on what I've been working on here in Valheim. Um, as you can see, I've made a path along here. Got a little bit of a junction right here. So this path leads off over that way, and it goes up over to the starting point over here and that's pretty much where it ends i haven't gone around this side of the island yet but i have gone over here so i'll show you what i've done over on that side of the island and first i'm going to take you inside the longhouse and show you what i've done in here as you can see i've put a roof on it and we put some lanterns out here, and that is a weather stone that I downloaded in one of my mods that uh, apparently doesn't really affect anything. So it it's supposed to, but I haven't figured out how yet. So we come up to our door here. Got our lanterns up here, reinforced gates here. And our stairs going in. So, I've done a pattern on the floor. And we have an elevator right there that goes up to the second floor. And I've put in a bone chandelier. And then I put in a luster over here, which is just a fancy name for a chandelier. Over top of my weapons rack right by the door. So, I haven't filled in a whole lot in this room uh, we do have wall sconces all the way down here and a fire down there. Uh, being Canadian, I put that there, of course. And then we've got wall sconces going all the way down there to that fireplace. So, in each of the corners, there are corner tables there with chairs. Uh, and that's all that's at that end. However, down at this end over here and I'll apologize for the frame rate now uh, you look in the top left corner there you'll notice my frame rate bounces around between 25 and 30 FPS in here and it's only because this structure is so big and there are so many pieces in here that it's trying to render in uh, once we get out of here and we start go heading off on the map and we start going out over here uh, the frame rates will get better so like at the other end there's little corner tables but at this one I've got two chairs here with a chest so a couple people can sit right there in the front you know the older Vikings you know the guys that really don't go out to fight too much anymore uh, you know, they'll sit in these chairs here and just enjoy the fire. Now, there is a uh, another fireplace right up there. So, the two of them share this chimney. So, let me take you over here and show you the bar. You might notice that guy wiggling around up there. That is from one of the mods. That is the zombie deer trophy and I had to put it up there it was just too hilarious not to uh, this is the Ixthir trophy and I put some shelves and bottles all along the back here and of course mugs all along the bar and then there's a rag over there sitting on that side of the bar and we've got some lanterns and sconces hanging around here and of course couple barrels of beer you gotta have beer I uh, decorated it with dark wood along the sides here of course there are no curved pieces that will fit this uh, at least no curved uh, pieces like that so this is actually made of the one meter beams and I started off with one there and then just went one turn and just kept going one turn all the way around to make that. I thought it looked pretty good. 
Uh, of course, we've got to have some stools around here for everyone to sit on, you know. Uh, of course, this stool is facing the wrong way, but whatever. So, let's go upstairs and take our little elevator. Now, there isn't a whole lot up here. Um, like, there's nothing at that end. Over here at this end. This would be where the, uh, the, the Viking King, I guess, would, <laughs> this would be his personal chambers here. So we've got a couple of those up there, you know, and just decorated the place a little bit here and there with couches and a desk and all that and the bed. Of course, we got a crib for the little one there and a nightlight. And there is the hearth up here that shares the chimney with the one downstairs, and they both go out there. And of course, we had to have a nice lantern here for, you know, when we got friends over, we sit on the couch and talk. Oh, well, let me take you outside and show you some of the stuff that I've got out there. Since I haven't done much with uh, this in here, the majority of what I've been doing, well, what I've worked on for about ooh, six hours today is all over there. Now, if we go up this path over here, uh, there's a workbench I had to place in order to uh, build stuff. I gotta take that down later on. Uh, actually, once I finish placing stuff inside, I'll take that down. So, there's our chimney right there. What a nice chimney, I like it. Uh, there's our beehives and our windmill. And I placed a torch there, and I have a mod that I can adjust the brightness of my torches and sconces and lanterns and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so that one, if it looks a little brighter than usual, it is. I turned up the intensity on those a little bit. So we've got our portal here, and this one is the longhouse portal. And then if we continue up this way, I haven't gotten the path to come up here yet. But this is kind of a little workshop here with a bench and a chest. And then if we go over to the other end of the longhouse here. So the ground is pretty much level with this wall all the way along the back here and the front. Uh, so it acts kind of as fortification like right here. Although, you know, they can just come walking down here. Uh, I left, I leveled off this area. <clears throat> and I haven't put anything here yet. But this is going to be the head groundskeeper's uh, little area. Uh, I'm going to put something here. Kind of an outdoor workshop for him. And this is his house. And as you can see, I used a couple of different woods in here. Uh, that is shea wood. And then of course we've got... This is kind of regular wood, but it looks more like dark wood. Uh, just like these stairs. Uh, one thing I have found with the stairs, when you go to snap them in, they want to snap right here in the middle. And so I go to put them in, and I'll get it to where it wants to snap, and then I'll go into the advanced building mode and raise it one notch, which is where it is right now. And then you're able to just walk right up the stairs. Uh, if I didn't do that, you'd get to this point right here and just be stuck. This. I am just tickled to have this. A hobbit door. One of the mods has these round gates. And there are a couple of them. I believe they are in this one. 
Uh, yes, they're in this mod right here. And this mod is uh, the improved hammer. And this thing. So this is the door that I put in the front here. I think, or, no, no, it was this one, the blue door. That's right. But there's this door. And then there's this one. There's a red one. There's blue doors. There's these doors, which are kind of cool. Uh, kind of like a hobbit door, but not. <laughs> uh, but that is my hobbit door on here. I've been wanting somebody to make that door for a long time, and, well, somebody went and did it. So, we've got some marble here, and then big windows, bookshelf. So, this is looking like a very modern house right now. Um... I had thought to keep it to, you know, kind of a an old Viking theme, like I started with the longhouse there, and then just kind of lost track of it and went nuts with this house. So we've got an advanced cooking station with a pile of coal there, and we've got a prep table here. Don't have a dining table in here yet. Uh, probably put it over there somewhere. Uh, shea wood floors, and then of course we've got a spot there for the cat to sleep, and a little storage chest. And if we go upstairs, uh, you'll notice I did use the hobbit doors here as well. And I only did that, I don't, didn't really intend to open them, uh, I only put them there because the... Head landscaper's wife likes round windows, so I put those there. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, and of course, this piece with the granite here, there are beams that run all the way across this roof. And there's our chimney over there. And of course, you know, we've got to have a nice big comfy bed over here. Uh, I don't have a dresser in here yet. Yeah, there's still a lot of decorating to do in here. Uh, okay. So, uh, we've got our front porch with our railings. And I put a couple of lanterns out front. And then out back, of course, we had to have a garden for his wife. He insisted. Oh, there it is. Uh, and I did the back wall in shea wood instead of this dark wood. Uh, just kind of as a contrast wall. Seemed like a good idea at the time. And there's all those beams running across there on the roof. Gotta have a well-supported roof, you know. So, if we go down this path here, it kind of ends right here because... I haven't finished it yet. Uh, this will run right down between those trees and meet up with that path. And that is the path that runs from over there down this way. And there's a house right there. So, this is going to take a minute. we got a long way to go. So, there's the long house. And if we head down this path... We've got what was a burial site right there. And there's lots of stuff down here. And this is the first house we come to right here. Uh, I did put a sign up there so I could put a name on it. I haven't quite gotten around to that yet. But in here we've got a bed and a chest. And of course there's a fire right outside. Uh, not a whole lot of decoration around here. This is one of the pre-existing buildings uh, that are generated in the game. So all I did was fix it up, uh, add it on this little piece of roof here, and put the fire out here. So that we wouldn't get smoked out inside the house. I'll clean up the yard a little bit there. Okay. And then if we come over here, we've got a junction right here. And I put a light post here with a birdhouse on it. 
Um, there are no birds in it at the moment because I don't have any worms on me to feed them. So they're a little upset with me not bringing them anything. But, you know, I'll get them something later. So if we go down that way, you'll notice on the map up there, uh, there's a house marker right there. And there's the outline of the house right there. But there is going to be a farm right there. And there's that world save, just killing my frame rates. Thank you. Um, so from about where that oak is, uh, it's going to come, come across here. Uh, there is a longboat graveyard right there. And then this path leads up over here, and there's a farm up here. So got a farm over here, we got a farm over there. Let's head this way, because this path actually loops right back around. It goes up that way, around, and then comes back to here. Look, a neck. How's it going? I don't feel rested anymore. Oh, that's a tragedy. So, snacks along the way. You know, we've got raspberries, and eventually, uh, when the path cuts through Black Forest, we'll have blueberries, too. So, you see, my frame rates have gotten better. We're up to 45, 50 FPS now. So, we've gotten far enough away from that monstrosity over there that my frame rates have picked up. So, this is the first farm we come to here, and these guys grow some raspberries. Uh, there's a... There's going to be chickens in there. And, yes... You little guy, uh, there's going to be a pen over there for you and your friends. So we've got a shack here, 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 and here. And I put a nice fancy door on that one. He can't see me. I'm in ghost mode. <laughs> Not that it would make a difference. I'm also in god mode, so he can't kill me either. Uh, put a nice fancy door on here too. And of course there's a bed in there. Not much else. And this one, again, a bed. Not a whole lot else. Uh, I just basically fixed up these buildings here. I haven't fixed up that one yet. I don't know why. Thought I did. Hmm. Uh, I redid the fence around the chicken coop here. Hopefully that guy doesn't decide to start breaking down my fence. That would suck. Well, it looks like... Hang on. Um, okay, nothing else is broken. So, I think I just missed a piece. Uh, okay. There we go. Now it's done. So, I haven't given this family a name yet. Uh, I was thinking possibly the Anderson family. I don't know. Uh, they've got some raspberry bushes up there, which, you know, anybody running along the path here is free to go pick. Uh, those ones and these ones belong to them. And if we keep going down this path, there's another house over there. I didn't notice it. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll have to come along and fix up that place later on. They're in the oddest spots sometimes. Branch on the path. So, as I was going along, I've passed by a whole bunch of rune stones. So, I made the path come relatively close to them, and then I did dirt pathing around them. That is a two star. Oh, buddy. Come here. Store. Thank you for your contribution. That was awesome. Don't run across two star boars very often. Uh, I did leave a few rocks here and there when they were close enough to the edge of my path. Uh, I tried to run around them now and then when I can. So we get pretty close to the mountain right here. 
Uh, I, I am going to build something up on that mountain. So this path may just diverge off here and go up the mountain there at some point. Uh, and I came along this way because we've got the five standing stones right here. And of course, we've got a little rest area right there. So I brought the path all the way up here, mainly because of the standing stones there. And then I saw this thing over to the side and thought, hey, it's pretty good. But this is the top of our path. From here, it goes down. So we've got a nice stack of wood here and we've got some shelter so we can build a fire right there. Rest up for a bit if we have to. And if we head down this path, it's quite the trek down. Uh, there's not a whole lot on the way down here. But then once we actually get to the bottom, uh, there are a couple of buildings at the bottom. Uh, yeah, I thought there was something there. Guess not. So, nice heavily wooded area. And, you know, it's just stuff like this. You look around in this game sometimes, and it's just such a beautiful game. You know, you'd almost think you were in the forest. Oh, there's a house right there. Our path goes down here to meet up with this dirt path and this bridge. Can I put a lantern on the bridge because we don't want people falling off of our bridge when they're going across. But if we go down this path here, we've got this hut right here and it's got two beds and a chest in it. And there's our cooking station right outside. And up here, this is a shared uh, garden plot for that house and that house. And there's a rune stone right up there behind them. Uh, this guy, pretty much the same thing. He's got a cook fire out here, but he's got a fishing pole. Because, you know, you got ocean right there. May as well catch some fish. And there's only one bed and a chest in this house. So, there might be one or two more houses over there in the woods. Don't know. Uh, I haven't actually gone over there that much. So, so far, we have three assistants for our shipbuilding process because these guys every morning they come down this path across the bridge and there's a burial plot over there and they come over here to the shipyard so the uh, head carpenter for all of this I think in the last video I called him the Dock Master. He would be a shipwright, not a Dock Master. Got my terms a little mixed up. But we've got the forge, wood storage, and then of course we've got a couple of workbenches with our plans and everything for fixing our ships, which is sitting on our little, uh, that. And I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> Our cart. Uh, the wheels on this cart are actually made from shields. In fact, this one right here. Odin's wall shield. Yeah. It was the only round thing I could find that actually looked like wheels in here. I didn't want to use a uh, wooden shield on there. Uh, I put a couple of green torches down there, so when they're coming in from the water, they just aim between those torches, and we'll pick them up there, and then roll a longboat up here. Uh, we've got our runestone here, and I showed you that place last time. Uh, I put a weather stone here, too, although it doesn't really do much. So we keep going down this path. Um, this path pretty much runs along the shore, along here, 
and up to this house and then comes up to here and then runs past Ichthyr and then over to this farm and back to this junction here. Uh, it does not run out to this house or this peninsula right here yet. Uh, it's coming. I will make something out there. Uh, some of these house markers like this one and this one. Um, well, this one in particular, there actually isn't a house at that marker. Uh, that was just a potential spot uh, to put a farm or something into. Uh, so that is a structure that is made in-game. Uh, but you'll notice over there, there's a bridge. That is a one-star neck. Nasty little creatures. Not as bad as a two-star neck, though. They're red. So, this place was just sitting here. So, I decided to fix it up. Put a couple of beds in here. Personal chest. And in a regular chest. And a campfire. So, all the smoke goes up there and should vent out of there. But it doesn't, really. But that's okay. It's far enough above our heads that it won't uh, smoke us out. Oh, we keep going down this way. There's our bridge. Now, there is this house right here. And I made the path going up to the door here. And so we've got a bed, a workbench, and a cook fire. Got a nice little chimney on there. And, of course, we had to leave a spot open up there. Uh, just in case, you know, get to vent the smoke out. There's our chimney. And there is a vegetable garden over here. So this path leads down to our bridge. And I put a couple of lights at each end and one in the middle there. So there's lots of rocks out there. So nobody's really going to come sailing through here anyway. But I put the lanterns up here just in case. So there's another one of those towers over there. And this, this bridge is pretty long. And I put iron railings on here to keep all the things that are on this island on this island. I don't want them coming in. And we put an iron gate here. So anybody who wants to practice uh, fighting and, you know, bow skills and stuff like that, maybe some mining, there's a lot of clay and... Uh, tin around here on this island uh there's a troll right there hello mr troll how are you you have a cave on this island somewhere i take it whole bunch of graylings over here because there's a spawner right there spot those things for a mile and then of course we've got skeletons which are going to be hanging around these structures there's one down there. And there's a bird. Goodbye, bird. So, the Grayling, Grey Dwarf spawner is out there on its own little island, fortunately. But if anyone wants to come and practice their sword and bow skills and, you know, they're just feeling adventurous, they can come over here and play with these guys and just... Have a great time. They're always here. Not like they're going anywhere. You know, unless the troll comes over and breaks down my iron gate and fence. They're not getting over there. And we got this guy in this house uh, keeping an eye on all this. So, I think we're good. Uh, you'll notice I put pillars underneath this thing and they go all the way down to the ground uh having that uh camera mod on here really helps uh it's the only way that i can do that put those in all the way down to the ground now if we keep going down this path 
this does go for a ways. All right, we're probably halfway uh, to getting back to the longhouse. And that's just one side of the island. It's long. Uh, another rune stone up here. There is a little shack down there by the water. Uh, I haven't touched that one yet. I will get around to that. And uh, jump off of here. Just to speed things up a little. There's another rune stone down there. Uh, a little bit of the black forest crept in on this corner right here, which is kind of cool. Uh, gives it a little bit of variety. And you'll see on the map up there that I have a spot marked right there uh, with a house on the map. Uh, because this is a nice open area and I can flatten off areas on here and make a farm here. Uh, I put a whole cluster of buildings there and I was thinking possibly off of this rock or maybe right there beside it uh, build a little dock coming out here so that these guys you know they'll have some animals up there and vegetable garden and that but we'll have a dock down here so they can have boats because there are fish uh, swimming around in here look there's one you look at one and they just swim away hi so lots of fishing around here yeah we're gonna keep heading this way I could eat another bite could I all right there we go so the three highest foods for stamina blood pudding ice cream and bread you'll notice, brings me up to 260 for my stamina. And brings up the health pretty good, too. Um, can't complain about that. Uh, if I was actually going into a boss fight, uh, there are other foods in this game that I would eat. Uh, we got another rune stone right here. But because I'm doing a lot of running around in this game right now, uh, just fixing up little places like this, uh, this is how they look in the game before I touch them up. So we've got a chest here. It's got some amber, a torch, and some feathers. But this place needs some work. And I will fix this one up later on. Uh, there's another place right over there. Hmm. And a deer. A couple of deer. Oh. Ah. Well. Lunch. Uh, I took it up this hill a bit because there was a runestone right here. And, of course, I like to run the path past these runestones. Where is that house? Oh, there it is over there. So, I made dirt pathways uh, at every one of these rune stones that I go past. Because, you know, people will be going down this path to visit someone in that. And they'll stop at a rune stone, read it. And, of course, you know, the odd raspberry bush here and there. And blueberry bush when we get into the black forest. Snacks along the way, you know. Lots of bushes right there. And right here, we have one of Ichthyr's altars. There he is, right there. And there is his runestone. If we read that, it reveals this. It says, hunt his kin. Yes, we will. So we've got Ichthyr here, and also right there. So this path runs past the other one as well. And right here, we have another farm. And I don't remember if I did anything with this farm or not. No. I haven't fixed up this farm yet. Uh, you know, fences all over the place. The buildings are a little dilapidated. Uh, I will get around to fixing them up 
later on. And I've got a world save coming up in 30 seconds. So the frame rates are going to tank. Now there is another little shack right here. Uh, and I haven't done anything with that one yet either. I'm... I cut those trees down. So stuff is... Oop, there's the world save. Ouch. Uh, I have been cutting down bushes and trees that were directly on my path. Like these. Come on. There we go. Uh, but apparently they are regenerating. So I may have to rethink this. Uh, I may need to reroute my path a little bit. Yeah, that one's fine. It's on the edge. Neck all over the place. Uh, I When I built this path through here, I raised that ground a little bit on purpose. Because I didn't feel like building a bridge there. Oh, put our axe away for now. And we've got a nice little bay right here. So I may build something in that bay. I haven't quite decided yet. So our path is now winding back east. And we're climbing up on this hill. And there was a shack right there. So I fixed it up. And decided that would be this would be the shack of the guy he's kind of like a groundskeeper but this is the other ichthyr altar right there so this guy looks after that place and you know uh it's kind of a place for people to stop off there's only one bed in there and a personal chest uh, I may put something in there. Uh, another bed, maybe. Who knows? Uh, got a couple of sitting logs here so we can sit and admire, enjoy this fire. And a stack of wood there. And I took this path all the way down to there. Right to the altar. So now, our path goes this way. And of course there's always little places like this. Uh, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to keep that one or get rid of it. I may just demolish that one. It's kind of in a weird spot. And then there's another one right here. I may demolish that one too. Uh, there aren't any houses up over here. Uh, we've got a rune stone right there. And there is a house over there. Uh, I might just make a little land bridge right there over to that house. You know, maybe there's a fisherman who lives over there. Uh, we do have a bridge across this little river right here. Yeah, that might be a good little fisherman's hut. And then if we follow this path up around here, we come to this farm over here, and you'll notice there's a horse right there. That is Odin's horse. I gotta get some carrots and tame him and put a saddle on him. And then I can ride him around in the game. So... There's a little house right here. I haven't fixed it up yet. And then there's a chicken coop with fence down there. And we got one, two, three oaks. Maybe this will be the three oaks farm? Who knows? Uh, I haven't decided what uh, name this family's going to have yet, but I'm going to go look up. Uh, viking and scandinavian names uh so that i can put signs out here and stuff and you know just put a name on the farm seagull just dive bomb me oh 
snarky little bird. And I'll get you. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry. You won't be expecting it one day, Seagull. Just an arrow will come flying out of the air and poof! Feathers everywhere. Well, we're back to this spot where we've got our lamppost. And that's about it. That, that's about all I've got right now. Uh, that path does lead off over that way. But there's nothing. I haven't done anything down there, and it doesn't actually lead to any buildings or anything other than this spot right here. So it it leads kind of right down to about here. And it ends there. It hasn't gotten around to these houses yet. There's a crypt right there. Uh, I was thinking of maybe putting a house or two out here somewhere. Kind of as a lookout post. Maybe out on this island. Uh, but we do have a troll right here. And then another crypt out here. We have quite a few trolls on this island, actually. One, two, three, four... Uh, five, six, yeah, six trolls that I found on this island. Not a good thing. So, we're near this thing again, and there goes my frame rate down to about 20, 25 FPS. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not going to bother going down there. Uh, that's going to be the next project. Uh, I've been down there, done a whole bunch of work on that side of the island. So now I think I'm going to go down this path and we're going to do some work on these houses next and maybe bring the path around. Uh, I might bring it around here past the crypt up there and then down this way. We'll avoid the troll. We'll come past this house. Uh, there's a spot there that might be decent for building a farm in. And then we'll come down. Maybe we'll avoid this down here. We'll come down on this side of the mountain instead of over here. And join the path up over here. Or, nope, we'll bring it up over here. And we'll join it up at that junction right there. And then, eventually, because the path actually comes up to right here, and then goes past Ichthyr and heads this way, I will bring the path up to oops, where that house is, and then we'll try to avoid that troll. Actually, what do we got? We've got four trolls out here on this peninsula. That is not great. Uh, maybe we'll just avoid that part of the island. Uh, who knows? But for right now, uh, that's what I got. I will have more for you later on as I build and develop this. So, until then, later.